Hi, this is Mr. Roche. We are working on Pente and we are working to you put opponent group to work and use it with Ralph. And what we're looking for right now is we're looking for a you know a routine or an algorithm that's gonna allow us to track moves, okay? And what I want is to get something like this. If the if the human players um, setting up a two or three opponent group. I want Ralph to know about it, and this is what we've been going for, okay? And so Ralph's getting fairly sophisticated. All he has to do is start putting moves on, or putting his own moves near these things, and it's going to be great. Um, but I need to first be able to track these things. I need to get these groups of two or three opponent stones together. And so I want to show you how to do that, because then you guys can make the, the vertical one and then we can work on the diagonal ones, and then we'll be ready to go, and then this thing is gonna be awesome. So um, so um, that's what we're going for, and you saw this, uh, this kind of situation before. So I want, um, you know, you wanna be able to make sure that, that you're getting these things here, okay? Like four, three, two, like that, okay? And um, they, can, they can come forever, whatever on the board, and, and, and that's all good. Okay, so let me show you how to do it. You have a thing called opponent group, um, which which has been discussed in a couple of other videos. And um, where we are right now is we're trying to hook up opponent group to work with um, Ralph. Okay, so Ralph is going to be in control of like setting up opponent groups for you to look at. And the smart thing to do with Ralph is um, we need to add some. Um, fields in Ralph that will collect opponent groups, okay? So what I want to have is I want to have a group of them. I think this stuff you already have, okay, up here. But this is like the big addition for opponent groups, okay? Okay, and um, and what it, what they are is they're, they're, they're flexible array lists which will hold opponent group class objects. And like, if the opponent group has four, I'm gonna stick them on here. If the opponent group has three, I'm gonna stick them on here. If the opponent group has two, I'm gonna stick them on here. And even if they have one, I'm gonna do this because every time they move, we kind of clear these out and we'll reset them and stuff like that. And so like a two can become a, or one can become a two, and a two can become a three, and a three can become four, and then somebody might win the game. Okay, um, there's nothing to change with, um, with a lot of Ralph, okay? The thing we're going to do is um, we currently have, we just currently make random moves, okay? So we have this routine that makes random moves with Ralph, okay? If you don't have that, basically this is get this gets called by the game board to do a computer move through Ralph. And then Ralph is basically making random moves right now. We're trying to smarten them up. So um, what I want to do to use, um, to use opponent, um, to, to use opponent groups, I'm going to have this thing, I'm going to, I'm going to I'm going to make a, a method called um, assess board. Okay, and that's what that's what this thing does. And I'm going to send it the last move and the last la the last move of my like opponent, um, or Ralph's opponent is going to get the row and column of where where his or her last move was. Okay, and then based on these moves, like what assess board is going to do is it's going to load up these array lists. Okay. And based on those, we're going to make some excellent moves, okay? So, and instead of this, okay? So we're not quite here yet. Um, a while back, we set up this logic that was um, that was going to do this. I can stick this back up here. Um, this is our logic that does this, okay? And I have some, some sort of pseudocode for this, but we're not ready for that yet. But until then, okay, we are set. We are... Alrighty, and we are going to continue to make random moves. Okay, so it's just going to kind of keep doing that, okay? Okay, so the big thing here is that you need to create a an assess board method, okay? So let me get you to that, okay? So assess board okay is going to look like this okay and what it's going to do is it's going to clear those groups every time it's called so every time you have a move it's going to clear out those array lists okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to run 
a bunch of um, routines that are going to look horizontally, vertically, then diagonally, and, and get things done, okay? So for tomorrow's class, what I need you to do is just sort of set that up, okay? So look for groups horizontally. It's going to like look like right here, okay? And it's just a simple method. And inside here, there's going to be amazing code, okay? Amazing code will go here. Okay, you just have to get ready for it. Okay, and then part of um, there's a couple helper things that have to help with group horizontally. If you're looking for group horizontally, you have to find like a group start. So I need this to be set up too. Okay, there's there's a routine called um, find horizontal start group. Find a horizontal start group. And what happens is you start on one of the horizontal um, rows and you're going through column by column. And if you find a start, then you can then you can grab all the rest of the stones. And then after that, you still have to keep looking. So this gets called basically a couple of times for any row, okay? And then if you find a group, then what I want to do is I want to add the list to one of the the four um, array lists for opponent groups, like the group one, two, three, four lists, okay? So this is what this does. So this 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 also sets up um, that, okay? Clear this out. So, so what this will do is it it it, it, it uses um, it takes a new. Let me see. It takes okay, a new um, opponent group object and adds it to um, one of the um, four. Um, opponent group lit, uh, lit array list. Running. Okay, so it's going to put them on, um, you know, either, um, you know, it's either going to be group four, three, two, or one, one of these guys like that. Okay. So it's like one of these groups here. Okay, so one of these groups, okay, and that, that's all it has to do, okay. So we'll do all the coding for this um, starting out in class. Um, some of this probably will have to do, do done for homework, but we can get a good start tomorrow if you get everything ready to go, which means get opponent group ready, get this, a list of opponent groups in here, These this, this kind of like infrastructure. Um, Set up to do an assess board, okay, and then set up like the assess board routines and things like that. So you're going to set up assess board, okay, you're going to set up look for group horizontally, and we're going to set up um, find opponent, start horizontally, horizontal, and then add new group to group lists and then we will be awesome so you gotta get all those those things done but then that's it okay so that's it thanks